Hey guys, just wanted to walk you around a little bit and give you a, just a short tour of the new upgraded game room. So if you've been watching my social media at all over the last couple of years, this room probably looks pretty familiar. Um, but I've done a little bit of reorganization, just preparing for the upcoming Kickstarter campaign. Uh, I've gone through and reorganized my games a little bit. Uh, to kind of bring the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and Nintendo 64 front and center over there. Then brought my fairly massive Famicom collection out to either side. Um, overall in here, what you're looking at is about 1,300 cartridges across all of these consoles. Then if we move over to this side, we've got our handheld wall. So Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and just a couple of extra <laughs> outliers up in the corner, mostly used for testing. Uh, one of my favorite pieces in here is my original Magmax poster. This comes from the very first issue of Electronics Gaming Monthly. I had that issue as a kid. Unfortunately lost it, but managed to track that poster down again and hang it in the game room. Love that thing. One of the best pieces of 80s art. Uh, we got DS, PSP, pretty decent uh, set of Atari games down there. <clears throat> My Nintendo Power Collection, I've been slowly rebuilding over the last few years because uh, lost those as well a while back. But um, got all my consoles down there. Um, I've taken a IKEA Calyx. Uh, organizer and kept a couple of pieces out of it to open up bigger spaces but it's a really great way to organize my game consoles we come over to this side i've got strategy guides that's um on the poster wall so here some interesting call outs up here include a uh, voice actor for many of the Mar Mario characters and it's a signed picture of his. Uh, we got original poster from The Wizard. We've got Chrono Trigger. We've got Toe Jam and Earl from the recent Kickstarter. Excellent game if you haven't played it. And then just some good memories on the wall there. So up top I've taken uh, Ikea picture ledges and hung them upside down so that I can place those lights behind the lip underneath them. And I use that for all of my boxes. Come over to this shelf and we got the minis. Been trying to get every major mini that's been released. And finally, if we come down here into the corner, we've just got all of my controllers for the different consoles sorted into a little organizer there. <laughs> the comfy spot. <laughs> um, now here, if you don't think I'm enough of a nerd, we've got our calendar and our calendar includes uh, games that I've played on that day just to kind of be able to go back and see what in the heck did I play out of this giant collection over the course of of the year. So that is the game cave as we know it. But uh, over this last couple of weeks, I've expanded. So all of this stuff uh, used to be just side by side on shelves. But since I've created the jewel case stands, I decided to do a bit of a remodel here. So now I've been able to take all of my Collections from PlayStation 2, Xbox, Wii, Xbox 360. Take my favorite games out of those set and front face them for display. The sets are clearly way too large to do that with every disc. So I've only just handpicked the ones that I wanted to front face. Um, this would take the entire basement otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, we've got... Sega CD, Saturn, Dreamcast, PlayStation as well. At some point, I'll do some 
a little bit of front facing with those. And then all those boxes wrap around along with the lit picture ledges all the way out here to the mini boxes. So, oh, and then just a quick peek over here, we've got just kind of some of the excess overflow, the large boxes and uh, books. Love these visual compendium books. Those show up on Kickstarter every now and then. I get them every time I get the chance. Uh, recent gift for my brother-in-law, the game console there. Um, the Zelda compendiums. And then, <laughs> not really game related, but I do love my choose your own adventures. So, overall here, now taken over the whole back half of the basement. But overall, we're looking at about 2,500, maybe, maybe 2,400 games because this doesn't include the Switch collection that's up front. But yeah, so that is the upgraded game room. Feel free to message me or reply if you have any, any questions or thoughts you wanted to share. Thanks, you guys.